Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Ucanic full system scanner to test the air suspension compressor. Now, just because your air suspension compressor is running, you can hear it running, it does not necessarily mean that it's healthy and it's putting enough pressure to raise that car. So a lot of times um, when you get a malfunction on the instrument cluster, uh, they're saying that uh, check air suspension or air suspension malfunction, it could be that the compressor itself is weak. Of course, it could be a number of issues. So what you would want to do is you can connect the scanner. You could run a full system scan where you look at everything on the car and the codes into each module. But you can go and enter the suspension control unit. And the first thing that you should do is read the codes. All right. So in this case, we don't have any full codes. But if you had an issue with the air suspension compressor or with the air, aromatic suspension in general, you're gonna have uh, codes there. Then you can look at live data for level sensors and a lot of things like that uh, that have to do with our air suspension. But uh, let's go back, let's go to active tests. And under active tests, you can raise the car, you can lower it so you can uh, see if the compressor is at least responding. But you, there's a test that you can do that will tell you that air suspension compressor is healthy and what you do is you go to central reservoir and you uh, press fill central reservoir and the test that you want to run here is you want to run this for um, 40 seconds so here at the top you're going to uh, keep an eye at what the pressure is the current pressure most likely yours if the car is lower it might be lower and that's fine what you want to do is you're going to have a timer uh, look at the clock, set a time for 40 seconds. Within 40 seconds, no more than 40 seconds, you need to reach a pressure of 16 bars or higher. So if you reach that in 10 seconds, great. You have a good uh, air suspension compressor. So that air suspension compressor, um, if it's not gonna meet or reach that pressure in within 40 seconds, it's defective and needs to be replaced. And that is a, a common misconception that people have just because that uh, compressor is running or they can jump the relay and they can make it they can hear it sure that it's an initial test but it doesn't always tell you that you have a healthy or a good compressor so I'm gonna press 3 and I'm gonna start keeping track of time you can see here this start change to to active and you can see we reached uh, 17 bar and only took um, about five seconds in this case it is a healthy air suspension compressor but you will see that if you have a weak one uh, it's going to take you know close to 40 seconds and if it's over 40 seconds still hasn't reached that um, 16 bars or higher then you need to replace the air suspension compressor the, you got to keep in mind the air suspension compressor has uh, a small piston it has rings on it and that that or the valve that opens and closes uh, all the time that can wear out and then it, it won't generate enough pressure and the car needs at least 16 bars to raise the car so when they the air suspension compressor uh, um, initially starts to fail you might notice the car stays up and it stays fine but then you have the the, the warning on the instrument cluster and you're going to have a code in here that it's indicating that uh, air suspension compressor is getting weak and it, even if you don't have a code you can go and uh, run the test yourself and check if you need a new air suspension compressor that's why when an air suspension compressor goes bad on these cars we recommend installing a new one instead of a used one because you don't know how old how and what condition that used unit is it's uh, we've seen it many times when somebody replaces their air suspension compressor with a used unit and they're still getting a warning on the instrument cluster or having issues with it so that's it that's how you can test it using the Ucanic full system scanner Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.